Trezor.com here. Uh, I've got a lot of requests on uh, how to connect a Trezor or a Ledger to your MetaMask account. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and give you a, a little instruction on that. So first thing you want to do is uh, log into your MetaMask account. I'm going to expand this view so I can see the whole thing. You're going to connect your Trezor to your computer and you're going to use this colored circle. This is your main menu button. Come right down here to connect hardware wallet, pick Trezor, and hit continue. It's going to ask you to allow Chrome extension permission to see your public keys. This is OK. So allow once, and then export the public keys to uh, the Google Chrome extension. Uh, then go ahead and type in your pass pin number for the Trezor. Uh, if you have selected a passphrase for your account, go ahead and enter it there. I do not have one, so I'll just hit enter. Then you have some choices of some accounts that you want to allow MetaMask to see. So in this case, the first two I have for Testnet. And now you can see I have Trezor 1 and Trezor 2 and you are now connected. <clears throat> this is how you see your assets on MetaMask from your Trezor. Okay, and you can uh, basically go and connect to sites like hex.com. When you go to connect, you now have a choice. Account one, which is the dummy account, which we don't use. And then you have your Trezor one, Trezor two, whatever account you want to connect to that site, you connect to the site. Okay, and then when you want to go back into Trezor, when you're done, you go to Connected Sites, make sure you disconnect your account from the site, and then I have a habit of removing my Trezor accounts when I'm done using them. And now I'm back to square one. I can safely unplug this Trezor, plug in a different one, and go through the same process. Cool. It's that simple, guys. Have a good day.